Okay, we are back. This is match three. We are 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, we are on the play. And it looks like... <laughs> I need to learn my lesson about playing two drops that are double cost that are, are not my main color. I'm going to keep it. Uh, maybe I'll drop planes. I got Wall oh. of Essence coming up. Yeah, I'll admit this isn't the best deck I've built, but it's been fun. I won't deny that. Alright, what do we got going on here? We do have Smite. We do have some removal with the Flowstone Blade. Um, and then the 5 drop. So this deck is not aggressive enough. Doesn't ha It's heavy hitters aren't big enough compared to the other decks. Playing against blue, probably has the mana leak. Alright, alright, I like the sign of that. I like that a lot. Alright, playing against red, my mountain walk guy's gonna be great. I did pass one. Um, pro red is good here. I like that. Ooh. <laughs> I believe I called that, didn't I? Yeah. Well. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He didn't have an answer. He can discard a card to return it to his owner's hand. I was gonna make my play not as exciting. Um Yep. Shadow cannot be blocked by my wall of essence. Mm -hmm. So I guess if I draw a mountain at some point in time, I could flowstone it, hold priority, give a negative one, negative one. Looter. I think I'd rather kill looter. Um, question. Do I kill looter? Or do I want to get a big guy out? Because then turn after that, play Ogre Shaman if I wanted to. He is stuck on the lands. He went first. I like killing Looter actually, because of the idea he is stuck on land. Could be bad. No, this this is the this is the play. Yep, I'm sticking with that one. Trim hit and getting hit by two. Does that mean a 10 turn clock, theoretically? But, yeah, he's stuck on lands. Look at that. Good play, Levi. Good play. Watch him play land. His, his second man. But come on! I have one other shadow creature. I do have Kindle, which he could return. So that could be troublesome. I do have a card in my hand that could deal with it, make him discard a card, he's trading a card in my hand for his card. Uh, to do damage to it, attack number three. Hmm. Okay. So next turn, I'm going to play him or him? The shaman. Get the shaman out there. Yep, attack away, sir. Attack away. Alright, good. Hmm. Play the mountain, because I may want to hold the planes in my hand to be able to randomly discard it. F6, my life away. There for two, buddy. No lands? No lands? He does have a three drop. He does have flying. So, what I like doing is playing this, playing a land, and then killing that guy, discarding either Smite or Mock Fanatic. I'm okay with that. Just 
Should have attacked first. He's not gonna block. He's not gonna block. Do I do it on my turn though? That's the question. He could have a bounce spell or something. What could he have? He could have time warp on his own creature. Does time warp draw a card? I think it does. two screens I'm always sketch out that I won't uh, <laughs> actually click play and I won't be recording oh, I should play the land just in case a little tag I mean he could block he's not gonna block so the question now is I think I play it and then get rid of one of these cards I'm okay I maybe hit can hit for four is quite a bit actually yeah and I want to do it on my turn. Alright, got rid of smile. I guess I'm okay with that. That's okay with either one. Now, don't play any more lands. Boom! Crack for four, seven. Alright, you got a land. Mm-hmm. Puts me to 12. Whatever he plays, if it's X2, I can kill it with this guy. Um, I'm okay at discarding Mog Fanatic for Shock. Ooh, exchange control of target artifact or creature, another target permanent that shares those types. So I get the Shadow. For this guy? What was he targeting? Oh! Wow, some good tricks. Did you get it though? Yeah, it didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> when the game state checked what type of permanent it was, it realized there was no permanent. Did you draw a card off of it at least? Uh, no. So I don't worry, what was he saying? Uh. That's what it's worth trying. Oh. That is first strike. Get some shenanigans going there. He's at 11. Yep. Alright. I shall look at his graveyard a little better. He had shadow. Just one shadow creature, which a shadow storm wouldn't be good against him. I didn't blue red he could have a lot of blue shadow so if I didn't pick up any of the blue shadow because I wasn't playing blue oh, I picked this one up um stun stun may actually be good in a more aggressive deck I don't have an aggressive enough deck I'm gonna keep it how it is um just plan on drawing lands I think that's the plan have him get mana screwed for two turns but hey that was my play to make sure I killed the looter that was all strategy. All right, I'm going to submit. Let's see you in the next game. All right, we're back. <laughs> all right. This opponent has kept. I'm okay with this. It's not super fast, but I'll keep. It's really slow, actually, but I'm okay with that. Makes it a little better.
What does this one do? It deals one damage to him. Oh, something weird just happened. I'm still recording. Alright, my main, I got five drop, a four drop, and a three drop. Let's see if that plane's going. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll pass turn. Oh, I didn't even say, see, he played like a serial lure. Ha. Uh, you sack it, can charge power less than dang it. Well, we'll be playing her. <laughs> nope. What is my trick against that? And he's sitting on a mana leak, huh? Dang it. Good control. Legacy Lure, well, one of my favorite cards. It's definitely up there being a favorite. I just like control magic. Control magic is literally that card. Alright, yeah. Draw three cards and discard a card. So I'm going to entice him to steal this guy. Then play a flyer and uh, play a healer. He's gonna have something good. Seven cards. He just drew three, discarded one. Twice I have let the legacy slip away. Never again, says Karn. Karn looks different. Karn looks old back then. Plenty of lands. Ooh, Silver Wyvern. 4 3. You can change the target spell. Or ability that targets it to new target. Must be a creature. Force three flyers, pretty darn good. Plus he's stealing my stuff. Ha! <laughs> so close. No, I can still crank it on it. Uh, let's attack for us. I got all the stuff going through. I'm going to attack first. He's not going to block. He's going to take four. How did he take one? Oh, one from this guy. And this, it does not tap. And then what I'm going to do is just play this thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Only time I could play it. Um, not playing her. It would give him an option, but it'd be efficient. But I think you'd probably take her instead. Did I read this correctly? Change a target, a spell, or ability that targets it. It does not target it, it just says enchanted creature gets. So there is no target there. Should I pump? Not gonna pump. You gotta have something awesome to play. He's gonna steal it. He's gonna let me untap it, then he steal it. Probably a good a good play. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, kill that thing when I, when I got a chance. Flowstone Blade has been doing some work. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I'm pretty sure your ability doesn't have work. And now, yeah, it's not gonna work. I'll be surprised if it does. It's a learning lesson for both of us, yep. And then do I play the healer or the champion? He's at 15, I'm 16, he's gonna put me at 12. The healer. 
That is the question. Healer logging. He has five cards. Other creatures. I'm attacking. He's hitting. He's hitting for more. No, let's heal it. Huh. Oh, because a turn after that might. Yeah. Like I, either one of these, I'm probably not gonna play. I'm gonna be playing this guy. Then probably this guy. We'll get the healer going. Healer's good. Dang it. <laughs> Walked right into it again. Should I play the healer first? So I'd have three mana open? No, I would have killed the flyer anyhow. <laughs> well, we got the mana leak out of his hand, so I can play Flowstone Mauler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four cards in her hand. I've got four cards. You probably got something good here. Am I 12? You're 15. You got another flyer. I've got a flyer. You got a shadow guy. I've got a shadow guy. Hmm. This flux 4 3 hit me for 4. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It's more. Cost more mana. Next turn, I'll get six, seven. I'll play these two. Now I can play Shaman. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's definitely got the advantage here. Three turn clock with the evasive with the flyer and the shadow. Play the shadow, play my flyer. Just taking two a turn. His shadow's pretty good though, I'm surprised, but capsize buyback. <laughs> That was pretty darn good. I'm liking this guy's deck. Blue, blue, red control. We shall remember this. Capsized buyback. Bing. Do I show it to him? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, his is going to capsize buyback main phase, but we'll give him a chance to mess up an attack so I can block his 4-3, and then I kill the flyer. We'll let it happen. Right? A lot of the game is about giving opportunities to your opponent, to your opponents to make mistakes. Giving your opponents opportunities to make mistakes. See, he's, he's thinking. Taking up time. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, that's good tricks too. I like that. Sweet. Alright. Alright, this is for two packs. This last match. He is a controlly deck. Can I make it faster? Well, I was so slow that game. Um, target. Destroy target. Block. Destroy target. Blocked creature. He's going to be attacking with my own creatures. Seething Anger could do some work. Actually, I like that. Um, Do I take out the Wyvern? Wyvern is good, though. Just a 6-drop, I know. I mean, he's heavy. I'd rather take out... Try to beat him as quickly as possible. Get Shadow... Take out the smite for nomads. And shadow flyer, and then my guy was on the ground that he stole. He can steal the little guys pretty quickly. Huh. I see me faster. I don't think they're good enough to make me faster though. These are gonna make me faster. And getting rid of the six traps, so alright, going with this. And I will be going first. Yes. How is this look? Wish one of these mountains were a plains. Um, three drops. So I, I literally can't play any cards in my deck. If I were to draw a plains, great. If I were to draw a mountain, turn four is good. Hmm. I'm going to mulligan this. Ah, uh, no. I'm not. I'm going to keep... It's slow, but it's lands and spells. Play the plans just in case I get the shadow guy. Mm. 
Alright, well, a little better. Did get a land so I can play at least two of my spells. Oh, come on, man. It's gonna be the same thing over again. Where's my fast deck? Here's the interesting thing. If I get that thing that gets plus three plus oh, can control her creature's power less than or equal to. Ha. Huh. Because you have to sack it. <laughs> Alright. So I can't play that one. I just gotta get the summer prowler going. Yep, 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 yep. Like I see a lure. Disenchant? I didn't pick any of those up. Yeah. Wowza. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll let you steal it if you want. Huh. Trades, huh? I guess that makes sense because you're still going to take my best creature. Pass turn. My hand's looking weak. Legacy lures just pump, 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 pump. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> we going to play this game again? Oh, I can kill it this time. <laughs> it's like again. Flowstone blade, some good tech, man. Some good tech. I'm doing this so I can text my standing troops. It costs a lot of mana, but it gets around tricks like that, or you know, abilities like changing spells and abilities. Yeah, he could have stole. He's not gonna steal it. I'm gonna 20 turn clock, baby. 20 turn clock. Four counters and legacy lure. I gotta give him a creature that he wants to steal. Shoot. His cards are better than mine. <laughs> I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick the crap out of him here. See, this game's good. I've got a lot of trickery. S seething anger. Let's see if he does it. The end of his turn. It's gonna be awesome. This is the only time I can do it because I'll have five counters on it. Then do it. Do it. It's a sorcery. <laughs> Dang it. Oh man. It really feels like this card is an instant. I'm just saying. It feels like an instant. Capsize is an instant, isn't it? Oh, I'm so. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought he had done it. Huh. Alright, well, good thing I didn't blow it, I guess. Uh, he's still gonna steal it in response because you are a sorcery. Yeah, that, that trick doesn't work with Legacy Allure, does it? I'm at 18, he's at 18. Hmm. It's interesting. Let's reread this. Remember, so all damage will be dealt this turn to target creature you control by a source of your choice is dealt to another target creature instead. Okay, got it? Got it. So if he steals it, he swings all out. I can block. I can block and damage dealt to that creature. Does he let me attack? Just let the trigger grow on? He's like, oh, I'm not gonna kill that thing. It's a lot of damage, a lot of damage. It's four. I said he might steal this, huh? Hmm. 
so um, hmm. he's just never going to attack. Legacy Lure again, holding up my hand. Guess what I capsized buyback. He's got the lock. <laughs> What do I even need? He even has looter. Curiosity. He's got it all. Blue red seems good. I like blue red. <laughs> Unblockable curiosity. With looter. It hurts. It's such a beating. There will be another draft. Oh, yes. Yes, there will. Just to, just to make you feel better. <laughs> Let's see if you can blow me out in one turn. Plus, if he steals it, I could potentially block and kill it. Oh, man. Four unblockable, seven. Yeah, this is just a beating. How did I let it get to this position? It didn't even attack. <laughs> I know when it's over, but you can't win a game by conceding. You never know. I could get my master. I can get my wrath of God. But I did not draft the wrath of God. Feel free to move on to the next draft, <laughs> viewers. I'm just kind of playing it out to, you know, it's more magic, it's more fun. Let him, let him get his victory, let him get his win. I should just concede. I'm gonna play my saber tooth, wyvern block here. I'm still taking four unblockable. He's got a counter spell, I assume. Get in there for four, buddy. Seething anger, right? I sat it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Got a four-four vigilance. All right. Am I dead next turn? Puts me at eight. No, it puts two turn, two turn clock. But I can't block that. So core, core chain does. Doesn't work. All damage will be dealt to turn target creature. I have to block. It puts me at seven. Then he has unblockable. I can't hold it back. Another turn. So I got a trade. Oh, he has capsized buyback again. By the way, <laughs> how did I forget about that? Play it out, man. We'll keep playing it out. Yep. Boom. Lucky number eight. It's all good, man. Good game. Good game. Well, I still need more practice with this format. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. See ya.